Hi everybody, this is Cam with Tiny Circuits. I want to talk to you about just how easy it is to use the Tiny Duino. This is an Arduino Uno, and this is a Tiny Duino. Same processor, same signals, same functionality, just the Tiny Duino is much, much smaller. You can add functionality to the Tiny Duino through the use of Tiny Shields. Here's a Tiny Shield for USB, so if we want to add USB support, simply just plug the two boards together, and now we have USB support for a Tiny Duino. If you want to add support for Ethernet, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, GPS, motor control. You simply just plug that board in as well. You can support multiple Tiny Shields at the same time. At the top of the stack is a, is a Tiny Shield for prototyping. This brings all the Arduino signals out to solder points. So you can easily connect over to one of your projects with any Arduino signal. And again, it simply just plugs into the stack very easily. And so now we have a Tiny Shield with three boards, processor board, USB board, and a prototyping board to connect your project. To program this, you just plug it into USB on your PC, go over through the Arduino IDE, hit upload on your sketch, wait and you're done. It's just that easy. This is running the Arduino Blink sketch. It's the exact same sketch that you run over here for Blink. Really, there's absolutely no difference. And again, programming this is really pretty much just as easy as programming in Uno. It's extremely easy to connect up your project to a Tiny Duino through the use of one of these prototyping Tiny Shields. At first glance, you might seem a bit intimidated by the size, or you think there's no possible way I can possibly solder that, it's, it's got to be way too hard. But in reality, it's no harder to solder this than it's just an Arduino. It's pretty much exactly the same. Here's an Arduino shield. If you've ever used an Arduino before, you're probably very familiar with the look of this. You've got these long pins down here that stack in the shield below, or into the board below. And frankly, these pins are kind of a bit annoying. You always bend them, and they're kind of a pain. Uh, the space between these pins is, is a tenth of an inch. The spacing on this board, also a tenth of an inch. If you look, exact same spacing on, on the little board as on a standard shield board. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is if you've ever soldered one of these connectors in there before, or if you've ever soldered a wire into a standard hole on an Arduino, you can easily solder this. It's really pretty much exactly the same. Same spacing, just as easy to solder to. And uh, the great thing is you can make your projects much tinier. Really no more complex, but uh, you know, in the end, probably a lot